Hello and welcome back to the Children's Liturgy of the Word. It's great to be with you again. I hope your first weeks of school, if you're going to the actual school, if you're learning from home, if you're maybe doing a little bit of each, I hope it's going well. I know it's not what you want. And uh, you know, you're just doing such a great job of keeping your hands washed and wearing your mask and keeping distant from your friends, even though I know that's not what you wanna be doing. But I'm very proud of you, and I know your parents and grandparents and teachers are very proud of you as well. And until we can be together in church, we've got these videos on YouTube. Let's pray together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd like to teach you a little song. It goes like this. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Could you sing that with me? Come on. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Boys and girls, we begin as always by admitting that we're sinners and we need God's help. And so we pause for a minute. I invite you to think of the ways that maybe you have been disobedient or disrespectful. Maybe you told lies, you were selfish or greedy, and we ask Jesus to forgive us. I invite you to respond, how great is your love, O Lord. How great is your love, O Lord. Forgive us our sins, and we will forgive the sins of others. Together, how great is your love, O Lord. Overlook our faults and failures, and we will overlook the faults of others. How great is your love, O Lord. Let's bow our heads. Dear Jesus, please be with us. Open our hearts to your word, and may it find a new place within us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Let the church say, Amen. First reading. First reading. We get four scripture readings today. So the first one comes from the prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel. E-Z-E-K-I-L. Ezekiel. The Lord says this. People of Israel, you say the Lord isn't fair, but you are the ones who are wrong. I am fair. And if any of you stop doing right and start sinning, you will die because of your sins. But if you turn away from your sins and start doing what's right, you will be safe. You won't die because of your sins. If you really think about the things you've done wrong and turn from them, do this, and you will go on living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Second scripture reading comes from the psalm. Psalm 25. Your response is, on the screen, Remember your mercies, O Lord. Say it together. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Show me your path and teach me to follow. Guide me by your truth and instruct me. Keep me safe and I always will trust you. Together, remember your mercies, O Lord. Please, Lord, remember you have always been patient and kind. Forget each wrong I did when I was young. Show how truly kind you are and remember me. Together, Remember your mercies, O Lord. You are honest and merciful, and you teach sinners how to follow your path. You lead humble people to do what is right and to stay on your path. Last time, remember your mercies, O Lord. All right, two readings down. This is the third reading. One, two, three. Brothers and sisters, this comes from St. Paul, his letter to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ encourages you and his love comforts you. God's spirit unites you and you are concerned for others. 
Now make me completely happy. Live in harmony by your love for each other. Be united in what you think as if you were only one person. Don't be jealous. Don't be proud. Don't think you're better than other people. Be humble and think that other people, including the kids at school, are more important than you. Care about them even more than you care about yourselves. Think the same way that Jesus did. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now sing the Alleluia, means praise God in the Hebrew language. Ready? Alleluia, 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 amen. Alleluia, 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 amen. Together. Alleluia, 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 amen. Alleluia, 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 amen. Our fourth reading from Scripture. We're so blessed by the Word of God today. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. And we pray that the Lord be on our minds, on our lips, and on our hearts. Jesus said, I will tell you a story about a man who had two sons. Then you can tell me what you think. The father went to the older son and said, Go into the vineyard today. His son told him that he would not do it. But later, he changed his mind and he went. The man then told the younger son, go work in the vineyard. The boy said he would, but he didn't go. Which one obeyed the father? The older one, the chief priests and the leaders answered. Then Jesus told them, you could be sure that tax collectors and men and women and boys and girls who do bad things some of them are going to get into the kingdom of God before you ever will. When John the Baptist showed you how to do right, you didn't believe him. But these people you think are evil, they did believe him. And even when you saw what they did, still you would not change your mind and believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And how many of you have chores at home? Huh? When I was a kid, my job was to dry the dishes. We didn't have a dishwasher when I was a kid. Any of you dry the dishes, right? Other times I had the job of cutting the grass or helping to rake leaves. Of course, I had to clean up my toys when I was a younger kid or clean my room when I was older. Sometimes my mom would have us take out the trash. We would take turns doing that. And sometimes we had to clean the trash cans out. I never liked that either. But let's be honest, sometimes our parents will tell us, hey, take the trash out. Hey, put this stuff upstairs. Hey, fold the laundry. Sometimes we do it. Sometimes we don't do it, right? And we can say that about all sorts of things, including what God teaches us to do. God tells us to be kind. God tells us to be loving. God tells us to be honest. God tells us to forgive the people who hurt us. And if we're honest, and we gotta be honest, the truth is, sometimes we do what Jesus asks, and sometimes we don't. That's what the scriptures are about today. Be like Jesus. Live the way Jesus lived. That's all Jesus asks of us. He doesn't ask us to do anything that he didn't do. And, and he's in the gospel having a discussion because there were these religious people, right, who, who said the right things. They said, oh, we love God. Oh, we love other people. Oh, we help other people. But guess what? They weren't doing it. They weren't doing it. It's like us when we say, oh yeah, mom, I'm going to clean my room. And we don't do it. Okay, mom, I'm going to be get along with my sister or my brother. And we don't do it. We can't do that. If we're going to say yes, have to mean yes. We're going to say no, we have to mean no. We have to be people of action. We have to act like Jesus.
On my bookshelf here in my office, I have this little figurine. It's action figure Jesus. Check that out. His arms move, his head moves around. He's actually on little wheels so he can slide back and forth. And this was given to me a long time ago, almost 20 years ago, I've had action figure Jesus. And I keep him around because it's a reminder that as Jesus acts, that's how I'm supposed to act. I'm supposed to be like Jesus. I know some of you want to be like Superman. Some of you want to be like Batman. Some of you want to be like Paul Patrol, right? Some of you maybe want to be like uh, uh, SpongeBob, maybe, if he's still around. But who do we really want to be like? Jesus. Can we try this week? Can we really be who he wants us to be? I know you can at school, at home, with friends, being generous, being kind. Let's pray for each other. And now our profession of faith. And your response is, as you remember, I do. Do you believe in God, who is our Father, who made you so that you would be of service and kindness to others? I do. Do you believe in Jesus, his Son, our Lord, who taught you by word and example and shows us how to live? I do. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit, who makes you one with his church and who will guide you every day of your life? I do. Because God promises to be with us and always listens to us, we turn and we offer our prayers. We pray for all Christian people throughout the world. May we live like Jesus. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who serve us in government, that they think not of themselves, but of other people, especially the poor people who they're supposed to help. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an end to the virus. We pray that we be kept safe from all harm and that we keep having good habits. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for patience as you go to school this week, patience with your teachers, patient with yourself, patient with other kids, knowing that this is a tough time. Please, God, help my young friends be patient. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And we stop for a minute and let you pray the prayer in your own heart. Who do you want to pray for right now? And let's join all of our prayers together, praying as Jesus taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And friends, may Almighty God bless you, keep you safe from harm, and fill you and your family with his love, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let the church say, Amen. You know the drill. Have mom and dad download, print out the activity. You got a crossword puzzle here. I loved crossword puzzles when I was a kid. I'm not so good at them anymore. My brain, my brain. So do that. There's another activity here you can do with your family. Again, really challenging each other to do what you need to do to be like Jesus this week. I miss seeing you. Look forward to being with you again. God love you. One more time. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Oh yeah. See you guys.